Hey everyone and welcome back to BMX News. This is a weekly BMX news show where I talk about everything that happened in the previous week within the world of BMX that I think you guys might care about. That being said, we've got a few highlights to talk about this week and a few things that I haven't really seen in other places to talk about. So the first thing here is the plastic bottom bracket. Here's a picture of it and I really wanted to talk about this to get everyone's thoughts on it because I'm not an engineer, I'm not a physicist, and I don't make bike parts so I have absolutely no idea if there's some sort of magical plastic out there that can handle the force of pushing down on the pedals with all of your weight and the force of landing. Also pushing down on the spindle putting a ton of force on the bearing that is between the spindle and the bottom bracket tube on the frame. So if anyone out there has some knowledge on this stuff, drop it in the comments because I am very curious and I feel like this is just not going to work. The first time that you land super hard or you jump something to flat, I feel like this is just going to break. These definitely don't rotate, so it's going to break it just at the bottom point. And if it doesn't, it's probably not going to last very long with a metal spindle spinning in it, wearing away at the plastic. Maybe I'm wrong, maybe it'll last forever, and maybe it'll completely change the way that BMX bottom brackets work, and that's where the clickbait title came from this week. And then after that, we've got an update on the Free Night Planetary Free Coaster, which you guys might remember me talking about previously. This is the Free Coaster, which uses the planetary clutch design, which means, and they say on their website, that this thing feels like a cassette when pedaling forwards, but unlike every single other Free Coaster out there, this thing does not have to be disengaged in order to Free Coast. So this is going to be extremely exciting and the news here is that it's available outside of Israel now so anyone can go and buy one of these and they're available on their website right now and there's a link in the description to this hub on their website which you can buy a left or right hand drive for $240 and get it shipped to you right now. Then after that the last highlight type thing that I wanted to talk about this week is the women and the X Games. I don't wanna go super into this. I just wanna make sure that anyone who might be watching this that doesn't know what's going on has an opportunity to learn about it. So basically, here's the TLDR on this one. Nina Butrago, a woman BMX rider who has been in BMX for literally ever, made a post on Instagram asking if anyone else was disappointed that there is going to be women in the Olympics in 2020 before they get a medaled event in X Games. And then she went on to give a few quotes that I'm assuming are directly from X Games. And these are the quotes that have spread like wildfire through BMX, that it's not X Games' job to grow their sport. Also, that the women's BMX level is not where it needs to be. And a whole bunch of other stuff that's kind of just unsettling to read and feels like it's coming from someone who is completely out of touch with BMX and women's BMX. And really the whole point of her post was to take a stand for change and oh my goodness, did BMX have her back on this one. It seems like every single woman BMX rider who has participated in the X Games women's BMX demos in the past has taken a stand and said they are not doing demos anymore and that they deserve a medaled event and BMX in general has had their back and it's been pretty awesome to see everyone come together and I definitely wanted to make sure that I talked about this. I personally feel like the women absolutely deserve a medaled event in X Games, especially when you look at the history of all of the just stupid, stupid stuff that X Games has tried in the past. I don't see why they wouldn't give women BMX a shot, at least. I mean, they used to do air surfing. Do you even know what air surfing is? I didn't until last night, so give the woman a shot. And if you want more information on this, check the link in the description below to Nina's Instagram post and then surf Instagram to all of the different women BMX riders and you'll surely find their post with more information about it as well. From there, we can move into some sponsorship news. The first and only thing is Cam Gervin's Welcome to Fit video. And my goodness, Cam Gervin, you're a freaking psycho. I can remember a few years ago when you first started coming onto the scene with your insane bar spin drops, and now you're doing tail whip drops down gigantic stair sets. And because of all your hard work and absolutely sending it on your bike, you've got this Welcome to Fit video, which is completely full of giant bar spin, tail whip, 360, 
all kinds of crazy drops because if you haven't heard about Cam Gervin yet, everyone, he is a sender and he is good at it. We had some highlights from contests and jams come out this week. The first is a highlights video from the Butcher Jam 2019. After that, we had a quick video from our BMX highlighting Sean Shimkit's Murica Jam, which was in his backyard trail setup that looks absolutely amazing, by the way. It's a video filled with a bunch of feel good trail riding, no music, and then there's a few sections in there with Sean actually talking about his backyard and the process that went into it. So if you guys are interested, link is in the description below, as well as links to everything else that I've talked about and am going to talk about in the order that I talk about it. And with that, I'm done mentioning the links. You know where to find them by now. After that, we have the highlights from the DIY BMX Worlds 2019 at Whip Snake, followed by a video called Streets of Brazil, a mega BMX jam. This one is a half hour long, so for any of you who want a longer video to check out, here's the first one of the week that you can check. And then that brings us into the videos from this week. And first I wanna talk about Brandon Began's 2019 video from Fit. If you haven't watched this video yet, put it on your must watch list because it's at the top of my must watch list this week. One, it's got a punk type song in it that went extremely well with the writing. And two, the ender is what I think might be one of the first BMX tricks that we've seen on El Toro since it was redone. And yes, an update on El Toro is that there's no pillars. There's no flat in the middle or anything like that. It was all just rumors. They literally just rebuilt the stair set and put some grooves in the concrete at the top and the bottom, which basically does nothing when it comes to BMX tires. And Brandon Began did what I think is called an over crook grind downed it. Everything else in the video was amazing as well. So many super, super technical grinds that I can't even begin to understand or explain to you guys. And if you know his riding, I'm sure you do, you know what you're gonna see, so check it out if you want to. That's really the only video I wanna talk in depth about this week, but as always, there's a whole bunch more to talk about and for you to watch. The first is Welcome to Seattle from s and Bikes. It's a little bit longer, so if you need a longer video, this is one to check out. Then we've got Eastern Bikes at Camp Woodward, followed by The Secret to Manuals with Demarcus Paul from Our BMX. This is a 10 minute video to help you learn how to manual. The last video I wanna talk about is Experience India with Joris Kalam from Shadow. This is about a 10 minute video of Joris's experience in India and most of it was self filmed. So if you wanna check that out, I said I wasn't gonna talk about it anymore, so I'm gonna move on to the products. And the first product related thing that I wanna talk about is more company related and focused than it is product focused, but it's a small business spotlight on Kink BMX that a local news channel did on them. And honestly, this is the best mainstream news type thing focusing on BMX that I have ever seen. The questions that the news reporter asked Zach Phillips, the owner of Kink, were honestly the best questions that he could have asked that gave the best and most descriptive answers. They covered so much in three and a half minutes of video. They covered the riders, the products, the bikes, and all of these different things, the warehouse that they do everything in, in the photo studio in it. And honestly, this is one of the only times that I feel like a real BMX rider could watch something that a mainstream news source made about BMX and think, yeah, that represents us. That is a good representation of that company that we would want people to watch and be psyched on. This was an amazing video. And then after that, we had a quick promo video for the release of the Space Braces new wrist brace. And that brings us into the interview section from this week. The first thing here is a new podcast from Bobby Canode called Canode Knows. And this one is with Ryan Chadwick. Haven't had a chance to watch or listen to this one yet, but Bobby knows BMX media and he knows what people want to see. So I'm sure that it's worth the listen. And then we had Nathan Williams on Dennis Anderson's Unclicked podcast. I did get a chance to listen to this one, but honestly, I can't remember anything from it other than a few times talking about his dog. I guess that's what I get for listening to this while I'm working on stuff. Either way, I know that this one's worth listening to because it's Nathan Williams. He's at the absolute top of BMX and there's never a time where I have regretted listening to a podcast with someone like him who is at the absolute top of their game and top of BMX right now. Let me know what you guys thought of anything that I talked about, especially the plastic bottom bracket. I'm really curious to hear people's thoughts on that, as well as the new Planetary Free Coaster and Women in X Games. Curious to hear your guys' thoughts. Thank you for watching. Subscribe if you're new, and we'll see you tomorrow for another video. Goodbye.